Now let's go to Nicole Galloway, the state auditor and Democratic challenger that has lost to him tonight. Uh, her campaign is in Columbia, and that's where we find our Morgan Young. Morgan? He is a dedicated husband, father, and grandfather who has spent his life working for the people of our now. She just walked out. There are so many people to thank tonight. First, my husband, John, my sons, William, Joseph, and Benjamin, thank you. You bring so much joy and purpose to my life, and I love you with all my heart. To my mom and dad, thank you. Growing up in Fenton, you taught me the value of a dollar, the value of hard work, the value of family, the value of empathy. Your lessons over the years shaped my outlook on service and helped me understand right from wrong. Thank you to my sister Megan, my best friend, my brother Matthew for always being there for me, my in-laws, my entire supportive family. I am blessed and lucky to have you. To Chris Sloan and my campaign staff, you are incredible. I am humbled by the countless hours you put in, often operating on just a few hours sleep and motivated by the simple belief that Missourians deserve a new way in Jefferson City. This campaign would not have been possible without each and every one of you. To my brothers and sisters in labor, who were the beating heart of this campaign, I will never, I will never forget the support that you have given me, and I will never stop fighting for you. Thank you to the organizers and volunteers, people of all ages, from every corner of Missouri who reached out to voters, texted and phone bank. You fought for the change we desperately need. To all the young women across Missouri who I met on the campaign trail, I want you to know there's nothing you can't do. Tonight, I may have come up short, but over the past 15 months, I have met so many young women who I know will be future governors of Missouri. Finally, I want to thank the people of Missouri. Listening to your stories, your hopes, your dreams motivated me to get into this race. It was a privilege meeting so many families over the course of this campaign. Contrary to what people may see in our politics right now, campaigns are about hope and optimism, not fear. My goal was to run a campaign that would make you proud to run a campaign that was accessible and responsive, a campaign that you could see yourself in. And I believe that we did just that. It was a privilege meeting so many of you over the course of this campaign. From the barber in Kansas City, the women in St. Louis who turned a big idea into a small business, to the little girl in Maryville who told me she'd be president one day, I will carry your stories with me and I will keep fighting for you. Over this course of this campaign, we built a coalition of Missourians who were united around a few simple values. That we can no longer ignore science and the growing threat of COVID-19. That no one should be denied access to health care amidst a deadly pandemic. And that our children deserve to live in a Missouri that is fair and accountable to all of its citizens. It's time that Jefferson City reflect these convictions and policy. This isn't a Democratic agenda or a Republican agenda, but one that puts the needs of Missouri families front and center. We all must come together to defeat the virus, to ensure that Missouri expands Medicaid and build a state where every child can succeed. While this campaign is over, our work continues. We must continue to organize advocate and fight to ensure that our leaders put the needs of working families first and act with urgency to address the profound challenges this state faces. For the past five years, I have And that's Nicole Galloway, the state auditor, the only statewide Democrat uh, elected official in the state of Missouri, her concession speech as she tried to become the first female governor of Missouri.